Hello and welcome to the channel, JB here, excited you're with me, the place for videos almost every single day about tech and fun stuff, and today we are starting a challenge series, and we got a good one, and basically what we got is a five round knockout fight here, and we've got two devices coming in, we have the Remarkable 2, and we have the Super Note A6X. And so we're gonna go through five rounds. Round one is note taking, round two is reading, round three is file systems, round four is miscellaneous, and round five is that championship round. So let's get into it. Let's ring that bell. All right, in this corner, we have the Remarkable 2 coming in at 14.1 ounces, one of the thin thinnest tablets in the market at 9.7 by 7.4 inches by 0.2 inches, it has a 1.2 gigahertz dual core ARM processor, eight gigabytes of storage, one gigabytes of memory. It's 10.3 inches and 1,872 by 1404, 1404 digital paper. In the other corner, we have the SuperNote A6X, which has a smaller screen size of 7.8, the same display resolution of eight, 1,872 by 1404. It has a quad core 1.8 gigahertz processor. It has two gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of internal storage. It comes in at a weight of 255 grams. So let's get started. The Remarkable one, 2, here we go. It is in round one, note taking. So we're gonna start at the same time with both devices. And I'm gonna do this as a subscriber show me just pulled it out. This is the A6X Lamy edition. Okay, so as we start a note here on the Remarkable, we're just going to go ahead and click on a note and create a notebook. It then gives you the ability to pick a template. Very similar, head to head right away. We both can go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to create one on SuperNote X. And as you can see, I press these three buttons we can go ahead and go in template. Very similar. We're gonna take the margin small, go ahead and create. We'll go ahead and create one here on the uh, Onyx, I mean on, on the Onyx, I've got all these devices in my head, on the SuperNote. Okay, so the SuperNote is in place. So we now have a very similar template. Let's talk about writing. Now this is where these devices are different. This has a, a nib that will never end. It will always last, supposedly, forever, all right? And then this has a nib that will wear down. That's the difference between the two. Both have very unique writing styles. Okay, to start off, I will just write on here and you'll see there is absolutely no lag on the Remarkable 2. It is fast, quick, and efficient. You have various pin types. That is in mechanical, you have Ballpoint pen, fine liner, marker, pencil, mechanical pencil, paintbrush, highlighter, and their new calligraphy pen, which is different. See, that's kind of a different pen. Eraser function. We have to erase all there, or we can actually come back into our pen and we can use, let's just use fine liner. We'll put that on there. We can actually use the eraser on the back of the new marker two if you upgrade to this pen, okay? Writer experience is Remarkable, it really is. It, it does feel great. This is my chosen device um, for notes just because it works, but when we get to miscellaneous, they do have some issues. Same thing over here on the A note, uh, uh, Super Note A6X. Um, you can pick your pin size, diameter, and color. Um, the writing experience, very fast, very quick. The difference is they put a layer of protection across their screen and the pen is actually hard and then it writes over it. So it's an interesting different type of device in that it's got a different type of writing feel. This has a paperish kind of scratchy feel. This has a smoother type of feel to it. So that is a very difficult thing to discuss on video. Um, it is a challenge. Uh, one of the things Voya has been doing and I like this, we've done this a couple times, is to go ahead and, and take the microphone off and put it down here. But really with this, it's not gonna make that much of a difference. You're not gonna tell that much, but you can see that the writing feel is definitely different on this device, okay? And obviously the navigation over here uh, is, is, let's go ahead and clear this layer and we're good. Okay, so very 
kind of similar in the speed of the writing, but the, the, the writing itself, the aspect of writing is very difficult, different. Um, this is an acquired feel for both of them. For me, I prefer the feel of the Remarkable. Some people like the feel of the Super Note, okay? But the writing is very similar and quick. I think that's the most important thing. You can see how fast you can do it. And same thing, I'll write left-handed here. You can see how quick and fast both do a very good job of writing. Um, I don't have an issue with that. It's just a feel issue. They both have layers, which is a nice, fee, uh, nice um, kind of feature. You can add layers so that you, way you can write on top of that layer. And then let's say we put this here. And then basically afterwards, you can delete that layer. This works great for templates. When you're doing like a daily to-do, you can have a layer. Same thing here. We can add a, a, an add a layer and we can write on that layer. I'll put it up here so you can see. And then we can click here and we can delete the layer. Yes, confirm. So as far as note taking, let me see, did that delete it? Yeah, it deleted it. Okay, so as, I didn't see it delete it though. Let's see, hold on. Okay, here it is, delete, confirm. Delete layer two, confirm. All right, I had a little issue there. I didn't see that delete, but we will keep going. This is a heavyweight fight. We are limited to a couple minutes each of these rounds. So as far as note taker, right now I would give that round to the Remarkable. I think it's a little bit uh, stronger as far as note taker. All right, let's go right to reader. We're gonna go right to it, no break, no ding, 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 right to the reader. Let's go ahead and open up a file. We're gonna go into menu, my files. We're gonna grab a test journal. We're gonna cancel this. I'm gonna put the same journal up. We're gonna go ahead and slide this down, okay? Let's slide this down. Let's go ahead and go to document. And we are gonna open a journal. So here we are in a journal. Both have very similar navigation across the side. Uh, if you've watched any of my videos before, one of the things that um, I do like is the bigger readers. Uh, the, these don't have like a, a pinch zoom. This is supposedly coming by the way, which is definitely needed because you can see how small that is. Um, this has a zoom feature. Uh, right here on the left, which then will zoom in and then you can move it around accordingly and then make the size whatever you want. I don't think either of these devices are intended to replace your reader, um, but you can kind of see I'm so used to pin zoom on my other devices. They're both adequate as readers and that's where I would say adequate. I would not give one of these. There is definitely not a knockout blow here. Uh, you can take your notes on them. Same thing here, you can do the same thing uh, with this device and you can take your notes on here. Um, we can also change to a highlighter style, right? And a marker, same thing over here. I can change to a highlighter and we can highlight things. Neither of these are the most exciting readers that you're going to find. This round, I'm gonna say, I will give the Remarkable a little bit of an advantage because it has the zoom function, but I do know that the zoom function is coming to the A6X very soon. The next round we're gonna talk about is the file management system. We're gonna jump in the computer and do that. Okay, let's talk about the file system here, and they're both very similar, except a couple different kind of ideas. One is the SuperNote, um, has a little more storage as you can see in the device, but it's done via the internet, okay? So it's done via the cloud, which is a little bit different. Um, they both have Wi-Fi, they both can transfer files, uh, but this you have to log into, where you still have to log in, but this is actually their own proprietary software that you're using. Um, personally, I like the setup of the file system within the Remarkable Better. But it gets a little bit of a negative because you have to use their file system. Some people like to use Google Drive, which I do, Dropbox. But again, you've got to use their file system. And as you can see, it, it's clean, it works real well. But again, it's a little bit different. Whereas the SuperNote is a cloud-based system. And I think that's important to understand as, you're, as this round is going on, you know, which, which file system works better. You'll see a lot of these different um, software uh, products and companies use different types of files and the easier it is to use, the better off it is. This is okay. I mean, I give it an okay, but I do give the Remarkable 
Um, even though it is its own system, the organization of the files, the Remarkable is built to be very simple and it works real well. Uh, I think it does a good job. Again, it's got to be your own, it's their own proprietary system, Remarkable system, which is installed on your computer, uh, which does give it a little bit of a difficulty factor. But once you have it, uh, it works real well. It's quick, it's efficient. Whereas in the Supernote, it is a cloud. And if you have multiple devices, that is good. One thing I didn't know, one thing I didn't say, and I probably won't get to in the miscellaneous, is that you can only use one device uh, logged into your account um, at any given time. So you can only have one email being used with the Remarkable. The Supernote, I don't believe that's true. So that's something uh, that we need to look at. That I think you can have more devices than one with the Supernote. But overall, I like the cleanliness and the easiness of the Re Remarkable, but the Supernote isn't too far off. I would call this kind of a draw. They both work very well, but again, they're in their own kind of systems. There's no Dropbox or Google integration. Um, and I'm not sure if we have that on Supernote. Supernote is always coming up with new things, and I think they have a little advantage there. Uh, where, where Remarkable is really into their own proprietary system. And that's something you got to look out for and understand that you work in this system. Okay, back to the other round. Okay, now that we're back, the final round. And we got two rounds. We're going to do a concluding round in a round. Let's talk about some miscellaneous features. One of the things that I absolutely love about the Supernote is that when you open it up, Okay, let's see. When we open it up, the Remarkable will sleep. The cover does not open it up. But when you open a Supernote, it does open up, which is great. That is a miscellaneous feature I think is awesome. I wish that the um, Remarkable had that. I wish it did. As far as form factor, let's go ahead and look at this. Very thin, very nice. Um, the, the, I am using the Lamy version of the A6X. The Remarkable with the new pen works real well. It's a great form factor. Uh, it works well. As far as miscellaneous features, okay, and in and, and the miscellaneous category, I think we would be res remiss. Let me put those in frame. If we did not talk about delivery, the Remarkable 2 is in very few people's hands. Um, it's their batch 2 has been shipping. They are catching up. The Supernote, it seems like they have more communication with their customers. Uh, they are on Reddit. Uh, they do seem to really work with their customers miscellaneous wise and, and you know, you've got to give it to Supernote. I mean, they are, they communicate better. Uh, they're doing a little bit better job of handing their launches. So the miscellaneous I would give to the Supernote. As far as the championship round, as we come into the conclusion, the Supernote is a great, this size is fantastic. They do make better versions. Um, it is a great device. Both of these devices I could be very happy with if they were my only device. I do have both of them. What do I grab? I grab the Remarkable 2. Why? Because I believe it wins the fight in the feel. I like the feel of the device. I like the way it writes. I do like the form faction of Supernova A6X. You can't go wrong with it. But what I found for my subscribers is using their ceramic nibs, and I believe it's ceramic, you can put in the comments below, um, that never end, like, so if you're looking for, you don't want to replace the nibs, this is a good experience. There are some people that absolutely love it. I will tell you, they'll work with you. If you get it and you don't like it, you can send it back. If you can get along with the feel, which to me is like a gel ink pen, this device is, is great. I mean, it works well. It's not the best reader because it's small. If they get the pinch to zoom, which I know they will in an update, it's going to be better. But overall, I think they're remarkable for day-to-day -day note taking. Now, again, we're going to have other, this is these two devices. We're going to have other battles against the Onyx products, which do a lot more things. But for just day-to-day -day note taking, coming in here and grabbing your notes for my YouTube videos, you know, if you're a student for classes, it's a great device. Our issue is, can we get the thing? Can we get the device? The file system works real easy. Um, it doesn't even work with Google Drive. Yes, there are some negatives to it. Uh, some of the other devices, we're going to go against the paper, we're going to go against uh, the, the Onyxes, they do other things. But against these two devices, they both have their strengths and weaknesses. The Remarkable in the championship round is a great note taker. The feel, if you like that feel, it's second to none. I mean, they just have it with the Remarkable nib in their screen. The form factor, I think they hit a home run with it. But can you get it? That's the issue. The Super Note, I think this is a great little device. Small, compact can take you with you, has that wonderful open up when sleep. I keep this actually next to the bed. It's how I keep my notes. 
works real well. Right now, I have the Remarkable 2 winning this fight, but it doesn't mean that it overtakes this other device, A6X, because it has its place. Because if you can't get the Remarkable 2, then it's really hard to be the champion, right? If you keep disappearing and you're ducking the contenders, that's going to be difficult. But I know with the Super Note, it's there, it's available, and it works. It's just, can you like the writing feel? And do you need that reader when it's really that small? Because I have trouble seeing it. Can you get that bigger? And hopefully, Super Note will have that pinch zoom real quick. All right, so this is our first challenge. I hope you enjoyed it. If you don't mind hitting that like button and you want to see more of these, you know, you can always comment below. What do you feel? Who, won who wins this battle for you? And then, as I always do, on Thursdays at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have Tech Talk Thursdays Live. Come in. Let's go. You can come and chat and talk about these devices and have some fun. Because that's what we do here on the channel. It's about communication. It's about fun. And as I always say, this is a community more than a channel. And I, I really appreciate you being a part of it. So until the next challenge, until the next video, go have a great one as always. And thanks so much for being a part of this. And thanks for watching.